At first, it's invigorating to realize that you create your own reality until you see what a mess you're making of it. <laughs> and then you'd like to blame someone else. Well, we like knowing that you create your own reality and we like you knowing that you do. And the more consciously aware you are of that, then the happier your day-to-day -day experience is. Once you begin to have ideas of what you want, then it's a matter of deliciously focusing and feeling yourself aligning with your desire while you feel law of attraction responding to your focus and the momentum of your desire building within you even before it manifests. If you could get hooked on that, we're calling it that sweet spot, that feeling of your desire in the process of becoming, even before it's had that last bump in the manifestation. If you could love it in the becoming, then, oh, the satisfaction that you're going to feel when it becomes is going to knock your socks off. And not only that, not only are you going to have so much more satisfaction as it unfolds, as it makes that last movement into where you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it. But all the way along the way, even before it was visible to you, it was known to you by your enthusiasm for it. It was known to you by your appreciation of the idea of it. But it was not visually translatable quite yet. You couldn't hear it or see it or smell it or taste it or touch it, but you still felt the joy of its becoming. That is our desire for you. Because you are, we all are, but we're talking to you. You are always going to be in a state of on your way to the manifestation of something more. We want you to be joyously romping full force toward the things that you want because the cooperative components of the universe are doing that on your behalf. So when you are thinking of something that you desire, the question is, how does it feel when you're thinking the thought? And the way it feels is your clue about whether this is a desire thought or whether this is a doubt thought. I think I would like to have this. And the reason that it is attractive to me is because, and I get the idea that I would enjoy it for this reason and this reason and this reason. More momentum, more momentum, more momentum. And because of your not contradicted broadcast, which Law of Attraction is responding to, you are becoming more powerful. Your point of attraction is more powerful when you don't contradict it. You're addicted to manifestations. We would like to help you change your addiction to mood or attitude or the way you feel. We would like you to be more aware and more in desire of feeling momentum than seeing the results of what momentum accomplishes. Just for a little while, you are an extension of source energy and that source energy is flowing to you and through you at all times. And when you are allowing it, you are at your optimum feeling of happiness. And you came here not to get stuff done. You came here for happiness. But we don't know any of you who can be here and not have life show you things that you want. In other words, you don't feel happiness if you don't have an engine of desire calling life force through you. So it's nice the way it's set up because you can't be here and not have that happen. You could not, none of you can, no one ever could. You cannot turn your desire factor off. You can't turn it off because the contrast that you're living in is just causing you to focus and get those juices flowing. You can't turn that off. But you've got a choice about whether, since the desire is flowing through you, you have a choice about whether you join the desire and let the momentum go and let your desire naturally unfold or whether you, in human terms, use all of your wisdom and all your objectivity and all your long practice in order to prove to yourself that this desire that you hold is not possible because engine, because engine, because engine, because engine. You are too smart for your own good. You've gathered up too much fact to contradict your own desires. When you're little, you don't, though. 
when you're little, you just want unabashed until the big ones get you. <laughs> till they teach you objectivity, till they teach you what real life is about, till they teach you that you just don't get what you want just because you want it. But that's just their point of view. Since you've been here in this physical body, you've been exploring and coming to many conclusions about what you want. And you've been launching these projections. We've been calling them rockets of desire, but you've been transmitting this vibration, not even spoken, a transmission of desire that is more refined even than words can sometimes articulate it. So you've been launching these rockets of desire and the source within you has gathered them, is holding them, is knowing them, is being them. And because your own inner being is the knower and the holder of your true desires, law of attraction is responding to that, you might call it a collection of desires. And law of attraction being the engine of the universe, Law of Attraction responding to those desires means that you have, whether you know it or not, and whether you like it or not, you have expanded that far into more. You have evolved vibrationally while you may not have yet caught up with it in terms of your physical manifestation. You might not be able to see it yet, but it exists just the same and your inner being is the evidence of it. And more important, the mood, the attitude, the knowing, the vibrational stance of your inner being is the proof of it. So when you accidentally, usually, or deliberately stumble into or walk deliberately into thoughts that cause you to feel happiness, that means you have joined that broader knowing of the source within you. And you are, for the time of that happiness, a perfect vibrational match to the expansion that you have created through the contrast that you've been living. And for the amount of time that you remain in that not contradicted, happy state, momentum about what you are asking for happens. And hints of it show up to you, clues show up to you, evidence of it shows up to you. So it is our desire to help you to lower resistance. You can't lower your desire. The source within you demands that. But you could stop fighting your own expansion. So what's the protocol? Find as many positive aspects as you can. Look for as many reasons. Check your mood, tend to your attitude. Look for reasons to feel good, reasons to feel good, reasons to feel good, reasons to feel good, reasons to feel good. And in doing so, you get that momentum going. Momentum, momentum, momentum. Only the engine's going that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. When you meet your inner being where your inner being is, it's always delicious. It's clarity, it's passion, it's love, it's wholeness. If you're awake and focused, and praising and appreciating and making lists of positive aspects and doing the protocol of getting yourself up to speed with who your inner being is, then in time you find yourself just living in this constant state of being where you're just up to speed, 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 tuned in, tapped in, turned on, feeling good, getting all kinds of advantages from the knowledge of that broader perspective. Stay with us. This is the most important thing you're ever going to hear. We're talking about the satisfaction factor. We're talking about what happiness really is. What happiness really is, is you in sync with the laws of the universe and the energy of the universe, letting it flow toward you through your natural processes of unfolding. We want you to have the fun of that sweet spot of energy flowing, of tuning the energy, of refining the energy, of syncing up with the way your inner being is looking at the energy. You've asked for it. You've asked for it and therefore it is. It's evolving and expanding as are you and therefore it is becoming more and more and more and more and more. And so when you are willing to allow your vortex, which is full of all of the components of everything that you want, 
When you are willing to allow the gestation of that vortex, this is the part that you must play. And you are willing to stay in sync often enough with that vortex that the manifestation, the clues are unfolding in your mind so that when it manifests, it is the next logical step. Still, the satisfaction factor will be so huge. If you care not about the manifestation, but you care about how you're feeling as you're visualizing, how you feel as you're imagining, how you feel as you are anticipating, then the energy is all lined up just right for you. And then when it manifests, it will be extremely satisfying. So this is the other piece that we want to stick in here. Not just the satisfaction factor, but we've been talking about things that surprise and delight you. So the reason that you, dear hearts, and you are, are addicted, and you are, to manifestations is because the manifestation isn't just something that's there. It's something that you have created and in it as it stands there is all that you are. It's all the thoughts that you've thought about it. Imbued in that painting is all that I am. All that I am, I've thought it forward into this. It was all of the molding of it into place. All of those thoughts and all of those feelings and all of those desires and all of those questions and all of those answers and all of that life, all of that life, all of that life in that manifestation, you see. You can't stop the manifestations from happening. There's one happening now, and now, and now, and now. This can take a while, and now, and now, and now. In every moment that you are focused out into the world, there are manifestations happening. There are manifestations that have happened that you can see. There are manifestations in the making. There's the manifestations of thoughts coming into your mind. So with all of this that we've been saying to you, it all boils down to this simple, Understanding, you ask for the protocol. We want to give you the law. Everything that you just heard us say boils down to this simple understanding. You are a continuum of source energy and you're here in this body continuing. You're sorting and sifting and coming up with things that you want at all levels of your being and you're continuing by launching these vibrational rockets forward. Your inner being, who didn't come all the way forward with you, who remains non-physically focused, takes that new thought and holds it in that nice steady place, which gives you the opportunity then to come into vibrational alignment with that ever-evolving, gestating vortex or vibrational reality. And so all day you're putting things into your vortex and all day they are becoming more and more and more. And all day the universe is calling forward cooperative components. And all day it's getting bigger and bigger. All day, every day, your creations are becoming more and more. They are getting ready for you to get ready for them. They're getting ready for you to be ready for them. And how do you know when you're ready, when you're at your happiest, you see? So if you could just follow your bliss, if you could just go where it's fun, if you could just go where it's satisfying, if you could just do what feels good, if you could understand that what creation is, is lining up with what you put there, with what your inner being has added to it, with what law of attraction has added to it, then you'll be in that receptive mode where you get to be the receiver of the manifestation of the idea. Oh, that thought felt good. I think I'll go over there. Oh, this feels good. I think I'll go over there. Oh, this feels good. I think I'll go over there. Oh, this, oh, this, oh, this, oh, this. Oh, you just want to feel good so that you can be in on all the clues, so that your mind can pick up the thoughts, so you can be in the receiving mode, so that you can follow the impulses to be at the right place at the right time. Because in any given moment in time, there should be two or 300 manifestations happening for your surprise and delight. You gotta understand that your inner being is transmitting to you continual blocks of thought. And that when you're in that open receptive mode, then, then you are living happily ever after. And we're talking about allowing it, allowing it, allowing it. That's the protocol. Be happy about it before I can see it or hear it and smell it or taste it or touch it. Be happy because I'm recognizing the essence of it. Because my recognition of the essence of the unfolding of me and my walls and my lions and so forth is the way I feel. It's the way I feel. 
if you understand that the better you feel the more momentum is moving toward what you are wanting that that's the time to talk about it and to add more specificity to it then 